Hello, everybody. I gotta stop doing that. Everybody does that. Anyway, hello, it's J.J. Joe here, and we're taking a look at the division. Not just the division, but the division underground, the new DLC. That I don't think at this point isn't exactly new. Uh, the other night, I just decided that I wanted to play something different, so I had a choice between the Phantom Pain or the division and I decided to put the division because I'm kind of done with the phantom pain but anyway when I went to load up the game it says it's downloading you know the new DLC because I got the season pass when it came out I was like sweet we'll check it out anyway I didn't put this video up sooner because I really wanted to spend a day or two with the new DLC um, to figure out uh, my feelings about it and how I feel about it is the division underground is the end game that they should have had at release this shouldn't have been a DLC. This should have been part of the game when they released it. Uh, it's really the end game content. There's no way to describe it. Pretty much it's gameplay you expect to have at the end of a game. Uh, but no, they chose to wait, make us wait five months and pay for a DLC when it released. But what are you going to do? That's modern video game business tactics for you. Um, it's really a kind of a cool thing. Uh, pretty much uh, when I booted up the game, it said I had a few new missions to do, that which really got me pumped. I did the two missions, and it led me into the underground. I'm like, okay, I guess that's cool. Um, but really, once you get into the underground, all it is is a bunch of randomly generated tunnels that you run through. You shoot folk to to do different missions. Pretty much the missions I ran into have been your basic, you know, defend the generators, you know, defend the unit, find the unit, locate the data, kill the named person, and so on and so on. And I don't mind it because the gameplay is fun. The gameplay is solid. Uh, there's really nothing for story. I mean, you do find on occasion a video log or an audio log that will give you a little background on the story of what's going on and everything. But there's really no cutscenes. There's no, you know interaction with other NPCs uh, to really fill you in on the story and what's going on. But regardless of that, as I said, the gameplay is solid and it's a lot of fun. Plus, they give you some options. Uh, I'm not really too high of level right now in the underground, but they give you one phase, two phase, three phase, so pretty much it lets you pick how long you want to play. A little one phase run probably takes you about 15 minutes um, if you're speedy and you can survive. Phase 3 probably takes up to 30, 45. I'm not sure because I haven't done one yet because I'm not the proper level. And I don't feel like leveling my character all the way up again just to do something in a game, especially since I'm already level 30. That was, That is the only thing that matters. Anyway, these games putting in multiple XP bars depending on the game that you're playing or the mode you're playing is bullshit in my opinion. But what do I know? I'm just a gamer. But anyway... As I said, end game content, so pretty much what you're doing is you're just running through the underground over and over and over again, doing different things um, to get gear. Pretty much I've been playing for probably about, I would say, maybe a day at this point in the new expansion, and I almost have all green rarity uh, armor and gear, except for guns, because I don't think there are any green guns yet. But anyway, so... Really, because there's no story and there's nothing, you know, to do, nothing to learn, no new skills or anything like that, I'm probably really not going to play it that long um, because I don't really care about gear, especially since uh, with the gear I have, I've been surviving quite well. So that's the downfall of it. Uh, the new DLCs, end game content, that is gear gathering or gear grinding, and that's not really me. I guess my mature mind has gone away from, oh my god, I need the best gear possible in the game, and I'm going to play it until I have it. Really not my bag anymore. But, I guess, uh, to end it, if you like The Division, and you're on the wall about getting the underground, I would probably get it. I enjoyed The Division, and it gave me a little extra gameplay for the bang. I mean, I wouldn't pay, you know, 19 or 20 bucks for it, but... I already had the season pass because I was a fanboy when this game came out. So, uh, yeah, I would recommend it. However, if you hated the vision, didn't like it, the DLC, uh, the Underground's not going to change your mind. But with that said, I'm going to leave you with a little bit of gameplay. Shit kind of hits the fan here, and we're going to watch that. Uh, what else was I going to say?
Oh, yeah, nothing but my outro. Anyway, I'm Jadis Joe. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to press the like button. If you are interested in other things I do, please check out my channel. And if it's up your alley and I do things that you like, play games that you enjoy, and all my other crazy stuff I do, uh, be sure to subscribe. Uh, but more importantly, as always, have fun and be safe. Thanks for watching. these hostiles to get this intel out of here.
Damn. My ears are still ringing. You keep this intel safe. I wasn't sure you were gonna make it out, but considering what you brought me, I'm glad you did. Nice work, Agent. Good luck out there. Freezing my butt off. Thank you. 